We are going to look at three different ways to collaborate within a document once it has been shared. So I notice first off that this document has already been shared and another person is currently looking at the document. I can tell by their picture at the top as well as where this cursor is. And each person has a different colored cursor depending on the amount of people that are looking at this document and working on it. So first off, uh, we'll look at how to comment within a document. And if you only want to comment on a document, you highlight what you want to comment on. And this might be because you don't want to give them edits or suggestions to the paper, but you just want to comment on part of it. So you just highlight the part that you want to comment on, and then you can either go up here and click comment, or you can right click and go down to comment, as well as you can do the shortcut control alt and M. So two options when it comes to comment. The first option is you can just type what you want to say to them. I really like it. And you can comment that way. Another option that you can do is you can highlight it and you can comment once again. But this time I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put in their email address with a plus symbol. And what that does is imagine if I'm working on this document with somebody else and they're not currently looking at this document. So if they weren't looking at this document, this comment that I wrote down below here would not show up to them right away. They would have to actually open up the document and then see that I commented on. Up above, if I put the plus symbol and then their email address, what this does is this notifies them that I've commented. So it'll send an email with the comment that I put. So in this case, I can write, I really like what you have. And now when I comment here, this is going to send an email to them, and it's also going to say, I really like what you have. So do two different ways to comment here. On the other end, the other person can be seeing what exactly, so now I've switched to the other person and just by looking, going through a different Google account. And I can see what they've commented on, and I can see their cursor on here if I were the other person looking at the document. So now we'll go back to um, what I was working on earlier. So now the first way is the comment. The other way to collaborate within a document is to actually edit the document. So in this case, the words that I type will show up on this document. If, if we're working on the, a research project together, or um, if I just wanted to answer the question, I could type it here. So I, I really like it. And now the only way that the, the person would be able to tell if I wrote something on this page or not is to see that it's different or to maybe see my cursor here. The other option that they could do is they could actually go up to re see revision history and they'd be able to look at the different options of who has typed what and they can look at the different revisions that have that have gone on and who's done what. So that's just with the edit feature and that it doesn't track. The other option, the third option for collaboration is to come up and it is to suggest something. So in this case whenever I write something it's going to edit the document but it's also going to track those changes within the document itself as you'll see here. So if they ask what I think, I could say, I really like what you have so far. For this, you'll notice that it's tracking what I have written. So from their end, I could, it shows up in pink, right? I really like what you have so far. So it tracks what they have written within the document. So three ways to collaborate. One is to actually comment within the document, right, and it shows up on the side. The other way is to edit the document where it will not track the changes, only through revision history. And then the third way is to suggest something, and that's by changing this little diagram here from editing to suggesting, and that will keep track of your changes. So three ways to collaborate within a document. All can be very useful. Um, depending on what you're looking for.